Welcome back guys, my name is Fernando Herrera and thank you so much for joining me today. Today is Mobile Van Wednesday and we're going to be getting closer to the end of this series. I mean, this is part nine, so yes, already part nine, on how to build your own mobile tire shop. Now, for those of you just joining us, here's what we've talked about in our last eight videos. We've talked about how to create a plan. We've talked about how to build a mobile tire shop from scratch and how much it costs. We've also talked about how to run a smooth operation, how to get bigger customers, how to hire employees and run the van, how to find suppliers for your shop, and how to advertise your business. Today, we'll be talking about what's my standard operating procedure for when orders come or calls come in and how to execute them. Now, before we begin, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. I am trying to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of August, so with your help, that is definitely accomplishable. Anyways, let's get down to business. So to help you understand what I'm going to be talking about, it's important to know and understand what is a process. A process is a set of steps that can help you achieve a specific outcome. So for example, we get an online order that a customer wants four tires. They already provided their address, their phone, their appointment time and date, and what tires they want. So now what? Well, the process would detail what are the next steps or the steps to follow to ensure that this customer is serviced. And processes also help to ensure that customers are helped in the most effective way. And to ensure finally service and experience that remains uniform to all customers. So in a way, it's like kind of like the same, you know, it's not like a different experience or a different process every time. Now in this video, I'll be talking about three processes. Process number one will be how I answer my phone calls. Process number two will be how I fulfill my online orders. And process number three will be how I dispatch and service a customer now let's go ahead and start with the first one how I answer my phone calls well all phone calls are managed by myself and another person I do have a phone system that I use to track how many calls I'm picking up and how many calls I'm getting but when answering calls it goes something like this thank you for calling tire mart mobile my name is Fernando how can I help you today now the customer will then proceed in explaining what they need if the customer needs a tire quote I will simply go to tire connect and search up their tire size or their vehicle information get the price some options offer them to them and then offer the price if you don't know what tire connect is i would strongly recommend you watch the video on how to run a smooth operation i went into more detail about tire connect and what that software does and so i think that video might just be very helpful if you have more questions about that now if the customer doesn't want a tire quote and he just wants he or she just wants a service um, to have a specific replacement or repair or just a spare swap then I would book an appointment at our appointment booking system. So instead of, you know, doing tire connect and all that, I would just go straight to our appointment booking system and I would fill in the form. And in the form, it asks the things like this, like address, what's the time and the date, or what's your phone number or a good phone number to reach out to whenever we're going to be servicing the vehicle the car information, so the year, make, and model, and the color. You want to take down this info to make sure that when you're heading out, you start looking for those types of vehicles and that information that matches just the form you have on file. After addressing all customer needs, we close down the call with a thank you for calling Tire Mart Mobile. Look forward to seeing you again or thank you for calling Tire Mart Mobile. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And keep in mind that for the busy months, I'll use a company called Synergy Sage which allows me to hire bilingual agents for a very affordable price. And they take care of the legal and compliance and only charge me a flat rate of $9 per hour for that person specifically helping me. So if you think about it, at least in Nevada, the minimum wage is $9 per hour and I still have to pay payroll tax, uh, you know, social security. I have to match all these things uh, for the specific employee. So possible overtime and other things. So I end up spending more like $10.50 per hour, not to mention the agents that Synergy Sage has or offers. I have normal experience of working with companies like FedEx, UPS, AT&T. So they have been trained by very successful companies that have very good customer service skills already. And so if you wanna know more about Synergy Sage, simply reach out to them via their website, which will be found on the description below. Also, if you tell them that Fernando sent you, they will give you a $100 credit automatically 
once you sign up to an account with them. But anyways, the second part is processing an online order. So this process normally for online orders, I'll get them through Tire Connect. So normally Tire Connect will allow my customers to submit an order. I will get an email with all the info and the date and the time. And then these are my favorite, honestly, because the process is so much simpler. You only have to review the info. You have to make sure to know where the tires are at or which supplier has those tires that that customer wants. Once you have identified that the tires are in stock or that you can get those tires, you will call the customer to confirm the date, the time. You will make sure that you got the right address, the right vehicle information, and the right size. And then you go ahead, pick up the tire, before you go to the appointment. Once that is done, pretty much you're all good to go. This step is really simplified when you have a tire software like Tire Connect because even though it's a bit expensive, you do get all the tire images, pricing, and updates automatically. Plus, you can connect with your own personal accounts of your own tire vendors. So again, if you watched my video of how to set up or find tire suppliers, most of those suppliers, if not all of those suppliers I talked about in that video, connect to Tire Connect. So finally, let's go ahead and talk about how to dispatch a driver or the processing on servicing a customer and in this it's a really great question because if you only have one van this process is going to be very simple if you have multiple vans i'm going to talk just briefly about that in just a moment but if you have one van you simply give your driver a list of the places of where to go in an orderly based fashion so you pretty much sort them out by appointment time and then you provide the address i used to send these via text message so you don't need any fancy software like that but normally as you get busier you do want to do the jobs by territory meaning if you have two customers that you're going to be servicing in the south part of the city and one in the north part of the city then you want to work on both of the south customers in a row so you don't find yourself traveling from south then north then south again because if you do this you will be losing time you will be spending money on gas unnecessary risk and so that's why when setting an appointment with your customer you have to make sure that you tell your customers that these are only estimates the appointments are not exact and that it may range anywhere between one to two hours plus or minus since a job can get more complicated and it is true sometimes you do get some complicated cars that uh, pretty much backlogs everything now let's assume that you have a 9 a.m appointment that it's in the south a 10 a.m appointment that's in the north and a 12 appointment that's in the south again so you don't want to go back and forth and what you would want to do or what we would do in this case would be call the 12 p.m south appointment first ask them if we could service their car earlier to around 10 to 11 a.m if the customer then agrees i would call the 10 a.m customer that's in the north and explain that we're running a little behind and that we should be getting there anywhere between 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. So if you see there, that way our both of our south customers would be consecutive and then our north customer would be last. Most customers are very flexible as long as you maintain good communication. The last thing you want to do is arrive to a job or a customer's address and for the guest to tell you that they no longer need your service because you didn't keep them informed. And this has happened to me and it sucks because where well, you have the tires, you had everything, you have traveled already there and now you unfortunately cannot capitalize on that opportunity. Now, if you have more than two vans, I would highly encourage you to use a dispatching software uh, which I personally use Tucan by uh, Jungle Works and I don't know if that's how you pronounce some people pronounce it Tucan, 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 whatever it is I like it it gives uh, you the option to optimize deliveries and you pretty much just fill your addresses and your customers in a list fashion it also gives you a live link of where the driver is however with this infrastructure you would need a central dispatcher dispatching and reviewing deliveries constantly you can't just be you know letting Tucon run on its own and it can be a very stressful um, job you know it, the dispatching is a very stressful job because you need to be on point you need to be aware of what's happening every moment now one thing that you could do is like I mentioned before hire an agent at Synergy Sage and fill that role for the dispatching role but again this can be done by yourself as well since this person could be the same technician uh, the same person answering phone calls uh, but you know it is it just really depends on how your business is doing and what fits best for you but well guys what do you think did I cover all the steps in these processes 
are there any prophecies that you would want to know in specific that perhaps you know i didn't mention here let me know in the comment section below also don't forget to follow me on instagram i'll be more than happy to answer any questions there as well don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe together we'll be hitting 2,000 subscribers soon so thank you so much for watching until the end i hope you have a great rest of your day peace